I, I probably show you the Google Colab, but you always please try today I will vouch for uh, other ID like PyCharm. Today I will show you how to install PyCharm, how to install PyDev uh, because whenever you are doing project and that project should run independently of Google Colab. So then you need a certain ID, integrated development environment. So ID, uh, the one thing is a command line editor. Uh, some of you I have seen that some of you are using uh, various shell. The industry standard is the PyDev and PyDev is by run by Eclipse. And you probably know whenever you, I think some of you have learned in Java uh, in your school days or college or 11, 12 and all, there you have used Eclipse. So, Eclipse is one of the great things, it is open source free and uh, moreover Eclipse is available on Windows and Linux. So, so in industry Eclipse is used. So, you will be a little bit trained to handle Eclipse. Eclipse, another utility, the PyDev, totally open source free uh, that you can install. So, the any big Python program you can run through it. Uh, today, I will not show the Eclipse and PyDev. If you can try, you can do it. Today, I will show PyCharm. That is also another very great utility. To uh, And what is the advantage of it? So, you can have uh, other benefits also. And Colab has also some other benefits. So, so it is better. It is your choice. Whichever IT integrated development environment you should use. And that is it. Uh, any These things I always show you that it is typical of uh, particularly Python language. So, Python is uh, variable or dynamic and but strong. What is the mean by dynamic and strong? Dynamic means you do not have to declare the variable whether it is a integer, floating point or string. Remember, Python does not have character. Uh, that does not mean it is characterless. Python does not have a character as a, as a variable. Like Java has a character, C has a character, C does not have a string. So, you, right now, you, you are also learning C side by side. You already know C. Some of you have no Java. So, it will be a little bit confusing, but you must understand what is the reason for it. Python is a basically glue type of language. It is uh, basically uh, designed to run on a back end, uh, in the back end amongst the servers and all these things. So, it is a, it, it, it will talk to many languages. So, it is a dynamic variable, but it is a strong typing. That means, you cannot put a, a character. You cannot put a character to integer or uh, float to integer. You have to. You have to. You have to. Uh, you have to convert it. Uh, so that's it. And another very peculiar thing. It is Python's own design that by they try to minimize the space. Uh, maybe they are basically working on embedded thing. That if they have found the same variable, same content, they put it in a same place. And declare a pointer like you can see is a. I have shown you a is equal to 5 type a. Okay, so print id of a. So this is the internal id number, uh, it's kind of a pointer, not pointer at all. And I have put b is equal to 5, that the same value it is coming. Whenever b is equal to 6, now the value is changed. So whenever a is 5, b is 5, then the you see the last four five counted 2, 8, 7, 6, 8, the same. So, th so, that is that is here. So, that is a very peculiar, but uh, uh, forget about it. This number is no use, but I we want to show it that how the py Python treats the variable. Let us come. I think you have all uh, done it in our uh, earlier classes or if you see my earlier videos in other classes. If you have any question, I can always discuss it here. Let us uh, do something. A new thing, I think. Let's see. Another interesting thing that I want to impress upon you that is the factorial. So, so this is a recursive. Rec recursion will come again and again in computer science. So, how to declare a function in Python? It is a def, and you remember you have to give uh, space. And how many spaces? You might ask. The Python always recommends four spaces. It is a Python uh, recommends four. So, here I do not know how much, 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah, they have given 4. That, so, you always try to maintain the, do not use the tab pages, do not always use 4 characters as a space. So, this is the, uh, this is the factorial function, how do you know this is a colon and this is if, 
always uh, if the factorial is not uh, anything is is instance of not contained in it is not l and if you see the factorial so we try to quickly see the factorial 6 i think you all know the value of factorial 6 let's see the what is the value What's time is 720 uh, and this is the because we have some we have to delete it then it will be facing yeah so 720 is the is the value okay great uh, i think uh, you can so but you take the value uh, say uh, what is the great about the python take the value say 899 it's a huge huge number you cannot handle it in c or java uh, let's try with python yeah it is given that is the great thing about the python that is the reason you can you can get very precision with integer or floating point number in fact it's much more uh, more precise than any other so any uh, research work you can python you can take it as a you can you can take it as a your programming language yeah the website is uh, pycharm and there's a community edition you download that community edition to, uh, on your windows or linux and then uh, uh, you run it and this this will come and you just open up this space uh, like i this is a hello src i have written i, I can i can shake off the hello src portion i just copy paste just copy paste and if you run uh, run see it is running so it is running uh, i'll show you so it is running it's so fast so it is here what we have done it is here, here nothing is visible here you just so this is my code we are doing it is we are using pycharm because whenever you are doing the project then uh, is a standalone project and hiduku i remember the name hiduku hiduku is one side so that you can make your uh, web app uh, through python and another thing I wish to show you the next class, proper, uh, next class of Flask. Flask is the architecture at the, the architecture at the back end, so that you should your Python program should work in a Flask. And you know the matplotlib is there for displaying graphics or SNS. Uh, today I'll try to show a little bit of matplotlib and SNS. Matplotlib is the earlier version. Matplotlib is a is a copied version of MATLAB. Which is a very costly and matplotlib is a fully copied version and is a open source free version to python and sns is another uh, utility library written by because all libraries are written by c c plus plus but they are run faster and it's open source and sns also you can put the graphs and you know numpy numpy is the alternative of c array you know you just you cover the least the least is one disadvantage uh, is it it, it is uh, it can contain varied types so searching through list is very costly proposition because any item can be at any size so in, in that case we go for numpy and numpy uh, it is a contiguous memory location uh, of so that uh, and it is written in c c plus plus and you just have to call import numpy as np you can can call it import numpy as np1 then all the in, np uh, functions num, numpy you have to write np1 like this so it is a standard convention import numpy as np and all the numpy function we call is np dot like this so this is the convention so right now what you want to see it here i google collab code i i i copied it and run it with a huge factorial 899 and I run it here in the code and it is running very quickly. See, it is a process finished with exit code 0 means you know in C exit code 0 means it is a it's, it's a it's a runs 0 means everything okay. And this is your uh, and this is now it is not in Google Colab and this is the number and what we have noticed probably if your machine is fast enough because my machine is desktop around 32 GB RAM and all this it's pretty fast. I5, so it is run faster than Colab because in Colab it is faster, but bringing bring and forth the data it will make slow. So this is dictionary 
uh, we have covered absolute dictionary because uh, what is the definition of dictionary and set is set is also second bracket opening second bracket ends but dictionary comes with the pairs this is the key value and this is the value key value must be immutable in c everything is mutable you probably you know but in uh, because at that time the memory is very costly but in python uh, you have uh, python in java uh, you have immutable concept into immutable is pretty much faster so the list is mutable so list cannot be the key uh, list can be on the right hand side here immutable things is uh, our integer floating point number uh, this uh, frozen set frozen set can be is immutable that's it frozen set so this is a dictionary. Uh, if you run it like this, it is the left hand side English, the right hand side Spain. One, you know, two, DOS, three, trace. So this is a dictionary they are printing out. I, I should show you again and again lambda function. What is lambda function? Lambda function is a short inline function without any name. You just give a keyword x uh, lambda and uh, and the parameter. And then what is we expected? So, so instead of uh, so whenever you get the lambda, see here. So instead of here, say five comma six, uh, I I give it so it will be uh, thirty will be coming. Remember the definition of these functions. Like here, the function name is x, uh, and this is a lambda function. So it should be in one line. It cannot be multiple line, and it should be dear to your body. So it is it increase the readability of the code. It, you cannot uh, x uh, declared here and after 10 lines you write the uh, using x uh, that will run okay but that is uh, not advisable so whenever you declare a lambda function you run it so it is running there and if you just copy it, this portion of the code and we just check it whether it is running our here definitely it will run uh, so Say we, we just delete this portion of the code because see here we run this yeah it is coming running fine so lambda function 30 32 so I am running this our in uh, I Python uh, PyCharm here a lot of things I declare a, a class you know the class is a template uh, what is because Python is great uh, not only for pro object oriented programming and procedural programming and functional programming the Java is only meant for object oriented programming. What is object oriented programming? I am coming. The whenever you have learned C in your second semester, that is a procedural programming. Procedural programming means you, you as if you are the you are doing all the things together and whatever the th things are repeatable, you put it in a function, you call the function again and again, uh, and uh, your program thread is running like this. If it's a repeated function, it is your responsibility to run the uh, call the functions but if you cannot write a function uh, then your program is nothing but a calculator what is basic difference between calculator and calculator and program is what is the basic difference between calculator and your laptop or your desktop is calculator you can uh, you can prog you cannot program maybe certain days today's calculator you can have a little chunk of program so that you can repeatedly call and that is called procedural procedure call but remember, the procedure you have to name differently. Every procedure definitely have different name, and uh, then the object oriented programming comes in different way. Object oriented programming thinks differently. In procedural programming, you think of that one person is doing all the things. In object oriented programming, it is not. It is as if object are communicating with each other, and who will the programmer's responsibility of the creating for the class? Class is not a real thing. Class is a abstracting it is a it's a basically template and then you create uh, subclass derived class and then you create object out of it the object now communicate with it, the message passing uh, then the encapsulation inheritance polymorphism comes but the great thing about the object oriented programming is uh, it is uh, programs length that's much shorter and real life all the uh, scenarios you can catch it through the object oriented programming much better way. Uh, excuse me, I just uh, make the uh, windows shut down. Just so I'm just going to do many things. The uh, concept is that 
it, it, it can handle real world situation much better. But the procedural program is good for where huge numerical calculation is there. And then another type of programming that is called functional programming. In functional programming, much shorter, like HTML programming. You just tell the program do this, do that, do this, that way, that way, that way. So that is called functional programming. The three styles of programming, your C cannot handle the object oriented programming or functional programming. C is only can handle the uh, procedural programming. But if you go know the C++, it, 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 it can handle the uh, procedural programming and object oriented programming. And C++ is one of the, still the best language and it is a faster, and it is much, much faster than Java or Python, but it cannot handle the functional programming. But Python, the advantage is it can handle both. All it can have the procedural programming. You don't need main. In C, you need main. You in Python, you see, never have to write main. So Python can handle procedural programming, object-oriented programming, and the functional. Programming. That is the great. Now, how to declare? Now I have told you that you have to uh, create a class, uh, and the advantage of class is uh, is abstract and you create object. So I have created a class is class. So this is the keyword like def class shark column. And these are the methods available to the shark. The shark can sweep. So himself print the shark is swimming and def uh, another function be awesome. The shark be awesome self and the shark is being awesome. Then uh, I am declaring a, a I can I can put it here like here. Yeah. I can I can Can I have defined then I can yeah so here here yeah it is I have defined a class which is the class a shark then I I am a Sammy is a uh, shark uh, how I, I am I am creating an object out of class shark that is Sammy is the name of the object and it is of what is a shark? So this is a shark, and uh, Sammy dot sweep. Yeah, Sammy. Uh, I call the function Sammy swim. So this will be printed, and Sammy be awesome. Uh, this is printed. So run the code. Yeah, it is running. So this is the object oriented programming with the C, and you you also already know how to create a class and how to create a method. Later on, we will see how to constructor of a class underscore underscore init underscore underscore that is a constructor in in java the constructor of a class and the same name but here we have init so if we run this code let's try if we run this code to by charm yep yes say we run this code to by charm see run this yeah it is running there so if this is equivalent to your, uh, your any id it will should run in not only in collab in id the shark is swimming okay great this is one very simple code it is a it's a class doc and we have done nothing is a pass. This is a keyword. So this is sometimes useful to write a code. You you design something that it used to be done there. You put just pass so that later on you put the code there. So pass is a like it is a it does nothing. It is just a template. It does nothing, but it is not a comment line. So I am declared a class doc and I am creating a doc. Nothing a is equal to doc. A is another instance of doc class b is another distance whether e equal to b we try it false why because uh, because a is a different instance b is a different instance of doc so it is a false so so it is i we can check it there in uh, our pycharm section pycharm section I wish to say this run. Okay, class talk. Yeah, I I should have some after class. You should give a better one. 
better one line space yeah it is it is it should be false why don't it give false here okay uh, i will check it in some other time why it is not but it is a false then uh, this is another interesting this is a class dog class actually species a mammal this is a class variable initial as i called you this is a uh, this is a uh, constructor so that whenever the object will be created it at that time only one time only one time it will be run and you cannot call this uh, this init on your own so that is the reason it is better to call by underscore underscore this so in java the if you see the same code is a class dog and, is, and your dog will be your constructor but i think it's a better design so constructor cannot be called from outside constructor will be automatically called by the programming language whenever it is not it's whenever the process whenever it is run so uh, yeah so instead the dog is a two dog philo and milky uh, i name this philo and milky and age is 5 and 6 and print uh, say philo age philo and my kid is a mammal whether i'll put it so this is if we run it run it yeah philo is 5 and philo is mammal so just just in the exercise we'll try it and our any if you any id so that we should run yeah it is running there uh, so oh, what is the thing we have done it is a class doc Uh, and uh, two methods and i am creating two objects philo and milky and so so what i today i what i wish to show you that uh, in colab is nothing that you you always uh, try at least three four platform uh, because uh, one is the basic python 3 call so that you can run it at many places uh, but the advantage disadvantage is you cannot get a various debugging information Yeah, ID is the best for it, and and Colab one it is slower. It is running faster, but interaction is slower. If you do not have good internet connection, it is better to make it on ID. Ultimately, if you are making an application uh, like they mentioned, then uh, you have to use it in ID. So, so another thing is, say I can do the same thing. very easy uh, age i have a uh, uh, speak another method i call the dog speak the sound and uh, dog and if you, and the mickey speak graph graph so you just see this this code will be given don't worry and it is available on internet free uh, yeah so mickey is 6 years old mickey is a graph graph okay so this is all this object oriented programming thing we see here Uh, we have told you the object oriented programming the simplicity comes with the encapsulation encapsulation means uh, you see between you and uh, students and me and uh, teachers and students so we are basically our common common things we are all humans okay so, so and so we are creating a class human and there we are extending the class a teacher the advantage the basic thing the teacher should have is a degree like graduate b or something and uh, and your student you know, 12 uh, education so the, the education would be different age will be different but that is not too restrictive any age is student there is no such uh, uh, age is expected to be less of the student teacher and uh, students have some student roll number teacher has some employment id and all these things so Uh, the commonality you have to be fine and there is some abstract class called human and there we extend class teacher there is extend class admin uh, worker admin class librarian admin students so that is the really advantage of object oriented programming you reuse the code and say here we have using class doc and uh, yeah uh, there you see the species animal it's a class variable and we declare self dot non and here See here is Russell Terrier, another class whose parent class is dog. So that is, it is a subclass. It is also a class. It is the Russell Terrier is not a object. It is another class, 
but its parent class is dog and it some extra definition run myself dot speed and it runs like this so and another class one of these Russell terrier another is class bulldog so bracket is back and remember in Java in the this will be declared that Russell terrier extends dog which is the Java notation um, C++ also like this but in Python it's much more simpler it is uh, you it is a new class and your parent class should be within the first bracket it is remembering is easier and in uh, in java as, as usual it is always the uh, explicit it extends class like it will be written as uh, like here class bulldog extends dog it is in java dot but here it is bulldog within bracket dog yeah so so i am now a gym a name of a, a dog is a bulldog uh, uh, so that is a bulldog is a class is, is a bulldog is a template and Jim is a name and what's the age and I just what is the description I'll get it and uh, child behavior so this is an objective programming let's run the program yeah Jim is 12 years old and Jim's run slowly so that's a great and we can try this code to to our new environment PyCharm. Next day we go for PyDev. Uh, so both in both in the best environment right now. So you can always go for best thing and you run it. Yeah, it is running there. So what I want to show that the same code will can be run on Colab. In which case you find the collab is easier, get the advantage of the collab, get collab, but the, you should not, but the same code will run on your machine also. And uh, preferably you should run your code in PyCharm or PyDeep or, or Anaconda like this. I think some of you are doing uh, PyPy is there, but uh, Eclipse is the industry standard and uh, PyCharm also industry standard. That's it. With this, uh, I now take some. I right. have a little bit here. Yeah, just a minute. Wait, I'll I'll tell you. Ask question. Then you please ask question. Just a minute. Yeah, you can ask question. Any question? Yeah. So uh, at last, you told about that subclass. Uh, is it like uh, inheritance? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It is. See, basically, in objective programming. Uh, it will be uh, inheritance is the first thing. Inheritance and encapsulation goes together. So you have to find the commonality of the various things. Then you have to uh, you have to pull it proof and inheritance. Uh, first thing is encapsulation. Then is inheritance. Sorry. First first is encapsulation. Encapsulation means the encapsule and every variable it should not be outside available. Variable should be manipulated by a public function. The public function will be called by another object, public function, and the function then asks for a password like this. So, so then it will run a variable. So, anything a public variable should not be in objective programming. The main concept is that everything should be audit trail and everything should be documented. It is over. It will be more. So there should not be any. There should not be public variable. But public function should be there. If you want to manipulate, you want to increase certain values, so you have to call that function. So that is encapsulation. Then comes inheritance. Why inheritance? In, without inheritance, objectivity programming is not possible because if we have to take it, create a teacher class, you have to take a student class, you have to make classes and classes together without taking a, some abstract class, uh, the code would be much bigger. So what we have to, as a designer, say, here also the basic dog characteristics in the dog class and what are the extent characteristics we have more abstract class. The same is basic human class, then we have extended teacher class, student class, then we can have a teacher with uh, say with various designations, students also be take first year, second year like this. So that is inheritance. So inheritance comes second. Encapsulation, abstraction, it is come first, then inheritance, then comes the polymorphism. Polymorphism a little bit tougher polymorphism means same name but different implementation 
in C, if we want to have, uh, if you, parameters are different, your function name has to be different. Very difficult to remember because any program should not be written by one programmer. Any programmer, like we are using Windows 10, it, it is written by maybe 5,000 programmers or 50,000 programmers over 10 years of time. So, programmers, lots of programmers are there. So, you cannot tell the naming convention should be there. Name preferably uh, should be same. The uh, as per the parameters, it should change. So that is called polymorphism. It's a good question. Yeah, the one-liner function. We have covered object-oriented programming. What is the um, um, abstraction and uh, encapsulation? We are then we created a class. Then we create extend the class. That is inheritance. Um, polymorphism we have not shown. We can ask any questions on project or Python, anything. Any direction, how to do this np.array. So this is a this is C is much faster, and this is the your list. So this is np.array is a function available with np and print C, and it will be and then uh, a typical program is to convert to Fahrenheit, and you see it will be there. So if we see it here, it will be faster. So if you do the calculation by the np dot array it will be much faster let's see another project and uh, i would not say that you should do the google collab because it is my favorite but also i am trying uh, do it in another uh, id like pycharm pydev they have uh, repeat, you can use uh, other ids also pypy is there but use one id uh, until or unless you are working on raspberry Raspberry Pi, if anybody have heard of Raspberry, the embedded systems or Arduino, they are with our show. But for Raspberry Pi, oh. is Python. Is it? Yeah, and it's a, um, a minimum 10,000 rupees and your Raspberry 6,000 and Raspberry with your home, your TV and uh, your, your remote keyboard and you can get it as a, as a laptop. Is it is a 6,000 rupees, you can get a laptop with Windows 10 or your... Uh, so Raspberry is the cheapest computer. In fact, computing. So every you can make a web-based browsing and everything, and you do not need extra display. Any HDMI display at your home. That, that HDMI display cost around five thousand rupees. You can see the TV with, with that. So you can attach your HDMI to the Raspberry Pi. It's a credit card size computer. I have one. I can show you one day with the Raspberry and the Raspberry. OS is there, Windows 10 can be loaded or Linux can be loaded. You can make browsing and doing everything without needing any uh, UPS and all these things. Power bank, you can you power the power bank with USB. So it, it doesn't need fan, it's small size. So Raspberry is not costly. Raspberry, you can, all the uh, robots and all these things in heart, the Raspberry is there. Or you see the any embedded system, Raspberry or Arduino must be there. Arduino is there for the input signal processing and Raspberry is a full OS and everything you can work on Python there. Python or C, OpenCV and all these things. So, good, you have asked questions. So, any, any questions? So, 354, any question you can make? Ritika, please do it. Deepanita, any question? Let's okay. okay, any question? Moitro, any question? No, sir. Okay, so uh, I have asked the second time now. Any question you can raise me. Uh, any, anyone is welcome. Any question? Any Kothika, you have any question? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, great. Any question you have? Anything? Sir, today you mentioned uh, polymorphism. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. Uh, yeah. Sir, can you please uh, yes, tell yes. us yes, what yes. is polymorphism? Yes, yes. Very good question. I uh, appreciate Kothika. Polymorphism is like you have a you have a you have a car say you, your father have a car and maybe you have a one uh, baby nearby and you wash the baby and wash the car the command is the same you but the methods are same no you whenever you wash the baby that you you handle differently and whenever you wash the car or wash the utensils it's a different but the verb is same that is the same name and different implementation implementation where it is implemented in procedural programming you have to write a different function 
wash underscore baby wash underscore car but in object oriented programming you have the same function wash wash but how the wash should be implemented in uh, car and in the baby it will be implemented in the object itself in, not in fact object it's the class itself so baby is a representation of a baby class let's say baby one baby one is created from baby class and car one is representative of car class and wash method is implemented there that is called polymorphism what is the advantage of polymorphism advantage of polymorphism is that the same name and implementation different so programmers uh, 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 programmers do not have to be confused which name to what and uh, so object oriented programming first thing is encapsulation or abstraction same thing uh, so that there should not be any public variable uh, there should be available public function public function will ask your password or challenge and then you get the password you can you can manipulate your variables there should be no public variable then comes the extending the class is a number two this is a number two it is the it is the extend class so one base class derived class yes, then you can have a multiple derived class that is there and then comes the polymorphism the three points that is a polymorphism it is a one uh, one is one is uh, your abstraction two is your uh, extension that is so one of you has to be called the inher inheritance and another is a polymorphism another is a polymorphism the three this is the three main points of object oriented programming and this is the uh, strength of the this is the de facto standard of the real life but there is another program in the functional programming the python has the object oriented good question